Hey everybody, what is up? It is Robbie. I know it's been a while since I filmed the video, but I figured I'd just make a quick one today talking about the easiest way to make 300 wheel horsepower, because that's everybody's goal, huh? Is to be the fastest. That's what we're all going for, that's what we all want. So, I'm going to give you all uh, a guide today, and I'm going to tell you what mods you need, and I'll also list them in the description so you know where to find them. So, yeah, let me tell you all how to make 300 wheel horsepower. Uh, note, none of these mods are going to be in any particular order. I'm going to give an order at the end. So, let's get, in, get into it. So, first mod you need, and it's a real easy mod to start off with, is an intake. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a cold air or a short ram, it's an upgrade. It's better than the stock unit. So, the main benefit of an aftermarket intake is cooler air and better flow. So that's pretty much what you want, whether it's a short unit like this or a long. Now, this is the Cork Sport 2.5 intake that I have. So this is the stock uh, math size. You can get a 3-inch or a 3.5. You do have to alter the either battery box or ECU to make a little bit more space. But either way, it's a great first mod that you do need to hit 300 because it cools things off, gets the turbo much more air, makes it way easier to hit those numbers. All right, so second mod is a downpipe. Now, any three inch downpipe will do, doesn't really matter the make. Now, some may seem a little bit more special, but in reality, it's just some piping. I have the eBay downpipe, and uh, it was 100 bucks shipped to my door, and I've had it for about two years now uh, with no issues. So, you know, it's up to you. Uh, CPE sounds great as does uh, Cork Sport, so really the options are up to you. They do sound a little bit different, so remember to look up some sound clips, but the main reason you want the down pipe is just for more airflow. Uh, less restrictions in the exhaust means the turbo can flow a little bit better. Um, you will also have a noise increase, which is nice. Same thing with the intake. Um, so yeah, down pipe is a must. Helps the turbo spool up. Um, sounds way better and you're gonna need it if you are going to want to hit 300 so the next thing you're going to want if you're gonna want 300 wheel is a fuel pump now you're gonna need it no arguments you're not going to be able to flow the amount of fuel needed to make 300 wheel horsepower with the stock pump uh, the intake and the down pipe is going to be flowing way too much air for the stock pump to be able to handle and if you attempt to do it on stock fuel pump, you'll probably end up running lean and blowing the motor. So make sure to upgrade your fuel pump. It really should be the one of the first things you do because without it, you're definitely not going to be able to hit those numbers. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is, it's something real easy, but you're gonna wanna replace your bypass valve in order to hold boost a little bit better. The stock unit has been known to leak when pushing boost pressures up into the 20s, which is where your tuned stock K04 should be. So you don't need it, but it is something I got because my tuner recommended it. So it just helps hold boost. Also, if you get a blow off valve, it makes that neat noise. I have a turbo excess blow off valve. <clears throat> it worked okay. Um, definitely recommend a bypass valve just because it'll hold boost a little bit better between shifts. All right, but next, next is something you do need to hit 300 wheel horsepower. This was a suggestion, this is a necessity, and it is a tune. Now, the easy way to hit 300 wheel horsepower, and this is the tip, all you need is intake, downpipe, fuel pump, and E30 tune, and boom, you should be in the 300s. It may be the low threes, but you should be there. Now, besides, you know, intake and down pipe. I do have the blow off valve, but that's not a horsepower gain, just some efficiency. I also have the CX Racing front mount intercooler. It's not really an upgrade, more so as it is a uh, change in position. So instead of it sitting on top of the motor, it sits up in front. It's the CX Racing core, not very good, but definitely better in the summers instead of it sitting in here and getting really hot. So other than that, 
I have a grim speed boost control solenoid, which will help tons if you get a, a proper tune. I run three port, which means boost kicks in a, a little bit easier, a little bit quicker than the stock unit. But besides that, all you need to make 300 wheel horsepower is intake, downpipe, uh, fuel pump, and tune. That's it. And easy mode is if you're in an area with the 85, and the 85 tune will go a long, long, long way. Um, it's like the shortcut to 300s, pretty much. So that's really the quick guide, guys. Um, it's not too hard to get there. It all really does depend on the proper tune. Um, there's no real order to these mods, except I do recommend you start with the fuel pump and then maybe the access port because it is the, uh, I guess you need both of those if you want to go, you know, full bolt ons and a tune. So, uh, after that, you can get whatever mods you want and get a pro tune and you're good to go. Um, a lot of people make the mistake and they run an OTS tune. Don't do that. If I understand if you're waiting for parts, but if you just plan on doing like an intake and downpipe, I do just recommend that you get a tune. It'll make the car run so much better. So really easy, really easy to do guys. Um, honestly, just kind of getting sick of y'all uh, losing out there. So that's how you make 300. Um, if you have any comments, let me know. Um, other than that, this was just supposed to be a quick video. Um, yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Oh, also, I'll, I may have some race videos up. My friend's a little wiener, but he has a full bolt-on Admin Tune 370, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, bye, guys.